The impact that I would like to see is more public art. I love LA, always have. Our city is so beautiful that we should have public art. And so I designed this angel, this little one, but it was six feet tall. And it was very important to me that, that artists really could embrace it. And they did. And we did 200 of them, and they were all around the city of Los Angeles. And it's been now 15 years, I think. How wonderful that California Community Foundation is celebrating their 100th year. When you said, okay, design something, I thought, okay, what am I going to design that's different? I've seen all over the world public art projects, and they're all made out of fiberglass and they're all very expensive and very difficult to move. As a child, we used paper dolls and we would put two pieces together and, and that would be great planes for artists to paint on. You could take them apart, put them on a truck, and it would be economical to come up with something different, never been done before, and timely of the year 2000, 16, it is so exciting to me that you've got 30 artists that are giving their view of Los Angeles. And there's thousands of views of Los Angeles. This culture produces the greatest variety. LA brings diversity. That's what it brings to all of us. And in the art world, it's the same. Because we come from all over the world and all different cultures, we add to one another's perception. I think an angel needs to transcend the spiritual world. And for me, art is a spiritual link. It's funny how life kind of falls into place when you just sort of open your hands and say, okay, I think we're all in that process. I'm 75 years old and I am still finding out who I am. And I find most of it out by my art. I always painted my whole life, but I never really thought of myself as an artist. And I here, 25 years later, I'm figuring out finally what kind of an artist I am. I'm a storyteller. Every piece I do, if you ask me, there's a story behind it.